Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Nomad Flair here. Today we'll be taking a look at the Logitech MX Master 3X for Mac. This mouse, as mentioned, is designed for Mac users, which is compatible with Mac again, the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air, the M1 Mac Mini, and even the iPad, which is cool. I've been using the Master 3S for the past five months now, and hopefully by the end of the video, you have a better idea as to whether you wanna pick up this bad boy or not. Links will be left down in the description. Okay, let's start off with the unboxing. The MX Master 3S has a very impressive battery life, lasting around 70 days on average on a full charge, and a three minute quick charge can provide the mouse with eight hours of battery life. In addition to the battery life, which optimizes my workflow, so does the 8K DPI sensor, which allows me to work on various different surfaces, even glass, which is pretty much found in every hotel room and is definitely a big improvement over the original 3S. This card is providing you with the website for the software installation, which we'll be doing later on in the video. The charging cable provided is USB-C to USB-C and connects to the front of the MX Master. And then taking a closer look at the mouse itself, it looks like an overall professional mouse for productivity work. It can potentially also be used for gaming. However, I use my Razer Viper Ultimate, which is lighter in mass and is equipped with a 20,000 DPI sensor. Just to let you know guys, the highest DPI I've ever used is 2,400. So I doubt anyone will be using 8,000 or even 20,000. The design of the mouse is impressive. I really like the thumb rest on the left of the device and the gently contoured, molded and sculpted grip of the mouse means it sits neatly in the hand. The small tilt positions your arm in a more natural posture for better comfort. At the top of the mouse, there are two upgraded buttons. The clicks are relatively quiet, delivering a satisfying tactical feedback with 90% less click noise. Where the thumb sits, there's a side wheel and a forward and back button. Here you have the on and off button. When switched on, a green light will appear. This button allows you to seamlessly switch across three Apple devices that you own just by clicking. The USB-C charging cable is inserted into here to charge up the mouse. On average, it takes me around 90 minutes to two hours to fully charge. And right at the top, there's a clever scroll wheel and button. The scrolling wheel can scroll a thousand lines per second due to being equipped with an electromagnetic mechanism which makes it super fast and precise enough to stop on a pixel. Now we're going to connect the MX Master 3X to my MacBook and then we're going to download the different Logitech apps to get full utilization from the mouse. I'll be going through this step by step. Firstly, you want to head over to settings and then to Bluetooth, search for nearby devices until the MX Master pops up, click connect and then head over to your browser and then type in the website provided on the box. Yes, connect me and then select mouse, connect via Bluetooth. Now we need to switch on the mouse, check if the LED light is blinking and yes it is. Okay, now we just need to complete the pairing process from our Mac by making sure it's been paired now we're going to install the Logi Options Plus software. And now we're in. As you can see, it shows you the current charge percentage of the mouse. Here we can adjust the DPI pointer speed. So I'll slowly adjust the DPI pointer speed and you'll be able to see the speed of my mouse as I'm doing this. There are a lot of customization options on the Logitech Options app. Likewise, the forward and back thumb buttons can be customized also. For instance, the left or right thumb wheel can be used to scroll left and right or alternatively, and perhaps more usefully can switch between different browser tabs. The MX Master 3S can also provide multi-Mac connectivity, which means you can easily pair to multiple Apple devices that you own and seamlessly switch between them just by pushing a button. You can connect up to three devices and the app even gives you the opportunity to set different presets for different creative applications and programs. This includes any Adobe applications, Microsoft Office programs, Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, etc. For instance, the left or right thumb wheel can be used to scroll left and right or alternatively, and perhaps more usefully can switch between different browser tabs. You can even change the scrolling wheel speed guys, which is absolutely awesome. The customization on this mouse is just endless, which gives us full control. And I would love to see other brands adopting the same approach in the future. Moving on to settings, we can check for any updates. Make sure you're always on the latest firmware. 
and then a few more other settings which you can change depending on your preferences. Lastly, you can adjust the viewing mode for this program. There are three options that you can select. First one, it will literally copy your Mac OS theme. Then we have light mode or dark mode. I always prefer dark, of course. Now, I just wanna see if the MX Master 3S will hold up on a more rougher surface. So I'm going to remove my desk mat and see. And as you can see guys, it absolutely holds up. Okay guys, and lastly, we're gonna move on to the potential cons for this device. It's a little on the pricey side, retailing at around 120 pounds. However, on Amazon, it's currently being sold for 100 pounds, link down below. Secondly, the mouse can be a little large for smaller hands. So if you have very small hands, then this mouse might not be for you. I do have medium sized hands for a man and it's perfect for me. Lastly, the quiet clicks might not be for everyone as some people like their mouse to be quite clicky. So I hope you found this review to be useful. If you did make it to the end of the video, comment down below by saying MX baby. I'd appreciate your support if you could drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and until next time everyone, take care. It's not a game, it's a